Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Row Builder YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use reference images to kind of trace an object. I wouldn't recommend doing this too too often, but when you're starting Blender and you don't really know like which way to bend a tree trunk or which way to make the leaves go, stuff like that, I highly recommend using reference images and I, kind of, I still do this, but now I freehand it. This is just for like the beginner beginners that are looking to like kind of get into stuff and like learn how things work. It's just a really good way to start off and practice. So we're going to make some birch trees today. So first things what we want to do is go open up Google and type in low poly birch trees. So here's what comes up. All right. And then we're going to look through and find the best one. I honestly, this one right here is going to be the best one for us. Uh, you want to look for something that has a front view and something that you like. Okay. So most of these are front view, which is really nice, but this is nice because it has four different variations. So we're going to save this. All right. And then what you're going to want to do is press one on your keyboard. This is going to take you to like the front facing view and you're going to do shift a go to image and then a reference then a thing will pop up to let you go get your image mine's on my other screen so you know hey it's all good <laughs> you just want to open it up boom now here's our image we can click and drag this to make it even bigger i'm gonna go something like this just so it's nice and big very easy to see then you can click g to grab it and uh kind of put it wherever you want it to be we'll put it right uh we'll just kind of center it like this now for most tree trunks you're going to want to use a cylinder so we're not going to use the method we used in the last video a very good method by the way so if you want to know another way to make trees it's in the last video it's using vertices and the skin modifier but today we're going to be using cylinders and shaping them like the trunks now as you can see this tree right here is very very easy so let's go ahead shift a cylinder and i think we're going to make these about six vertices that looks pretty good to me now we're going to scale this down and drag it over to where it needs to be we're going to make this one first because it's very straight and uh just pretty simple to make it looks like so we're going to go ahead and grab our top face press one once again to go back into this edit mode and uh you can press z wireframe and that's going to let you see what you're doing and we're going to press s just to scale this in it looks like this tree yeah i mean it just goes straight up in like a kind of a pyramid triangular shape now we're going to go back to solid view and we're going to try to make this leaf so i don't particularly like this exact style of leaf uh it wouldn't fit any of the things i like to do right now this is my build style a very cartoon uh bright smooth aesthetic okay so like these are the uh, assets i have so far and we're wanting these birch trees to match this asset pack so i think what i'm gonna do is shift a and add in an icosphere and then if we press s to scale and then x we can scale it on this axis or axis my bad <laughs> and then uh we can do that one more time again i believe on the y axis yes I, I always mess that up axis access you know your boys out here okay <laughs> we're gonna press one again to line this up and then we're just gonna scale this to be about that size make sure you have it kind of centered on the tree and one thing that i like to do is go up here to mesh transform and then there's this called randomize and it just kind of randomizes the vertices like there's not much to it you can up this literally as much as you want like you can do whatever you want with it I think I'm going to do something along the lines of this, and then I'm going to just make sure there's no super, super sharp points. So let me go ahead and turn off our image by clicking the little eye right here. And uh, there is a couple sharp points, but there's nothing too, too bad. So I think what I'm going to do now is go into object mode. Dang it, we forgot to split these. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and press L on this and then P and then selection. What that lets us do is now these are two different objects very very nice and i'm gonna left click or right click my bad and click shade smooth and i'll do the same for the trunk there we go so now we have a very smooth smooth looking thing um i do think i need to scale the outsides in a bit so on the x axis or axis i'm gonna mess that up every time i know it so i'm thinking this looks all right okay it's not the best but not the worst it'll definitely do for this tutorial's purpose what we're gonna do next is start texturing so i'm still uh you know new to texturing but i got it down you want to go right over here select the parts you want to texture okay 
So we're selecting the leaves first. We're gonna open, and I did have to kind of modify um, my grid. So I have the normal color grid, which is in the Discord server. If you guys would like it, absolutely free. Just save it to your computer. Um, you can have it, just join the Discord server and go ahead and download it. What we're gonna do here is press one, just so we can kind of get an even view of this. Press A to grab everything, and then press U. And instead of unwrapping, if we unwrap, it's gonna show up just like this. And that's a bit confusing to new people, and it's even confusing to me, and I've been using Blender for just about a month. What we're gonna do is project from view. This will make it so exactly what we see is what we see over here. Now, when you're over here, it does not matter how big or how small you put this thing, you can scale it however you want. Uh, it's not going to mess up anything. This is just how the texture is going to be sitting with on, um, on the leaf. So what we're going to do is press G to grab this, and we're going to go right here. This is like my most used color, my most go-to color for trees. Uh, there's a lot of people that use this one and this one. Uh, you can really do whatever you want that fits your game style. So... For this, I think what I want to do is make it a little bit smaller so we're not getting as much white at the top. It's going to be mainly green fading into a lighter green. Now that we have that placed on our grid, what we're going to do is go right over here, boom, click on base color, go to image texture, and then this little picture frame button, we're going to click that and then click on the one we want, which is birch, or it's color grid with birch. There we go. I added this on here so we could texture the, um, the trunk. Now that we have this, we're going to click Z and then go to Material Preview. What that's going to do is let us see exactly what we're doing. Let us see what's going on with our tree. And so far, it's looking pretty good. Now we're going to go back into Object Mode by pressing Tab. Click on the trunk and do the exact same thing. We have it just like this. We're going to go ahead and press U, Project from View. And now we have our trunk here. We're going to press A to grab everything on this side and just kind of slide it in to right here. Now, as you can see... Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest. I did have to make this texture myself, but it kind of gives off what we're going for. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and actually move that just a little bit because I have to find the best spot for it. I don't overly want things to go all the way around, but I know some of them will. So this is just trial and error. Kind of like keep placing it wherever you want it. Uh, I think we need to make sure the middle is the one that's not going all the way around. So let's kind of do something like this. And I think I don't want any on the super bottom part. So we're going to do S and then Z to scale up like this. And we're kind of going to just try to get as much of this off as we can. Of course, you still need it on the texture, guys, or else you're going to get something like this. And, uh, you know, that does not look that good. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, grab that, go into object mode. Uh, and I guess we can't really scale it that big. This is not the greatest texture, but it, it'll work. And we're going to just place it something like this. All right, right here has the most. So I'll do that. And move it over a little bit. And I think this will do for what we're going for. So there you go, guys. This is our first birch tree. Now that we have that done, we're going to go back to layout. Don't worry, your textures did not go away. You're just in the standard view. So we'll go back to material preview. And this is what we're looking like. Another very helpful tip that I found recently. If you select everything and go into object mode and click right here. You can face orientation, click this. Uh, what this does is it'll make everything blue or red. If something is red, it means the face of the object is flipped the wrong way. So I'll just do it manually right here. This object is flipped the wrong way. And when you import it to studio, it will literally be invisible. You'll be able to see through the whole tree. So to fix that, just select any objects that are red and click alt and then N and go flip. Uh, something I learned a lot of people don't use it, but I think it's a really handy tool It does save you time so you don't have to come back into blender after you uh, you know After you realize there's some normals that are flipped. So it does save some time I'm gonna go ahead and make the other variations of the tree. We're gonna follow the same same steps I will show you guys one of them though So you know how to rotate parts and everything like that as you can see There's a bit of curves in this one and in this one and then this one looks pretty straight, but there is a bit of a notch. So what we're going to do is go ahead, make sure we're in object mode, okay? This is going to start a new object, so we're not connected to this in any way. We're going to do shift A, mesh, cylinder, and it'll keep our six cylinders, uh, or our six vertices, I'm sorry, from previously. We're going to click S to scale this down. Make sure we have our move cursor selected and kind of line this up with the tree. 
Go back into wireframe mode by pressing Z and hovering over wireframe and just line this up with the bottom. Now we're going to go into edit mode, pick our line select, hold alt, and it's going to grab all those lines and we can kind of line this up just like this. Now we're going to press E to extrude, which just makes a part coming off of the original part and just keep following this tree. All right. So the first side's done now, guys, what we're going to do is go ahead and do shift a one more time. Grab another cylinder, scale this guy down, and do the same thing, but for the other side. Now, make sure you're lining this up so you're not getting any overlap. You can press R and then Y to rotate just on the Y axis. Or axis. Ah, oh, you guys are going to get annoyed with that one. <laughs> Let me go to solid view so I can see what's going on. I'll turn off this picture real quick. What this is letting us do is just see, making sure we're not having things peeking out the sides. This looks pretty good to me. Turn the picture back on. Press 1 on our numpad to go back into this view. We're going to go back into wireframe, select our lines, perfect, and scale this up. There we go. Scale this one up as well, just like that. I'm going to finish this branch and we'll be right back. All right, so we finished this branch. One thing that I would recommend doing is while holding alt, go ahead and click on the lines and then you can rotate these to give it a bit more of a natural curve. There we go. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is go back into solid mode. And as you can see, this is now one object, our new trunk. For the leaves, we could go ahead and copy this one. I guess I should make that a bit thicker as well. So let me go ahead and press L to grab all of that. Then we're just going to scale it up. Perfect. And then scale these sides in a bit. Perfect. Now in object mode, we're going to click on this and do shift D, which is going to duplicate it. And then we can just drag it over. Uh, it is smart to go ahead and add more variation whenever you can. So if you have the time, I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes, but if you have the time, definitely recommend adding more variation, more different leaves, everything like that. But for now, we'll just do a little bit of size variation and a bit of rotation. There we go. And then we're going to texture this one, guys. I'll run through that one more time. First things first, let's go ahead and shade smooth for our trunk. Nice. Let's open up UV editing right here. Now let's, uh, our leaves are already textured because we did those previously and we just copy and pasted them. Now all we have left is our trunk right here. So we're going to press U, project from view, and we have our trunk right here. We're going to click A to select all of it and then G to drag. And I think we'll put it somewhere like right here. Then we have to go into our materials, click new, base color, image texture, little image window, color glow color grid with birch there we go and as you can see as you can see there guys we now have another birch tree now i think i'll probably end up moving the texture this is all just preference but uh to me it's not looking great with that thick line right there at the bottom so i'm gonna go ahead and scale this down a bit and then i'll move it up something like this looks pretty good to me and there we go guys there's another birch tree we don't really have anything on this branch so let me fix that. I'm going to scale this really, really wide, and that'll just take up a lot more of the texture and we'll be able to fit a lot more onto this tree. There we go. And if we just go back into here, here's how our tree looks now. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial on how to make birch trees. You can use this for any type of tree, really uh, any rock, anything really that you can find a good reference photo for. It helps a lot, especially for beginners. Uh, once you get going in Blender, I'd highly recommend just pulling up like a reference photo, maybe on half of your screen or on the other screen and not tracing it, but just trying to freehand it. And that way it's not going to be the exact same. And you're going to get a lot of good practice. But that is going to wrap it up, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy the rest of your days. Like, comment, and subscribe. Later.